Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to our Begin Daily with Christ. God bless you for joining us. Shall we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. We worship you, Heavenly Father. We glorify, we exalt your name. You are worthy to be praised, worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be adored. There is no like you. You are the only true God. You are the Almighty. Father, we bow to worship you this morning. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you, children of the Most High God. You are welcome once again to our Begin Daily with Christ. This morning, we are going to be talking about prayer and fasting. Praise the Lord. Prayer and fasting. Children of God, prayer and fasting is a command. Jesus said we must pray and we must fast. If you go to the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1, Jesus said, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Jesus made it a command for us to pray and to fast. He gave us this instruction that we must not faint. We ought to pray, we ought to fast. Prayer and fasting is one of the armor of God. According to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, the Bible says, Put on the old armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Prayer and fasting will enable us to be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Prayer and fasting also will enable us to stand in the evil day. If you go to the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 1 to 13. Luke chapter 4 verse 1 to 13. Why our Lord Jesus Christ was praying and fasting. Satan came. Satan came. To challenge his authority. But our Lord Jesus Christ was able to overcome. He overcame him because he was in a place of prayer seeking the face of our Heavenly Father. Praise Master Jesus. And if you go to the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, the Bible says, Pray always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and washing therein with all perseverance and supplication for all sins. In other words, prayer and fasting is a spiritual exercise. That we must constantly do not only for ourselves and for everyone around us for all the saints all the believers we must intercede for everyone we must seek the face of god in a place of prayer we must humble ourselves with fasting praise the lord prayer and fasting will enable us to stand against temptations jesus said in matthew 26 verse 41 Matthew 26, verse 41, he said, Wash and pray that ye may fall not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. There are temptations everywhere. And prayer and fast will enable us to be able to stand against the temptations of the enemy. So Jesus gave us instruction according to the word. He said, We should pray, we should fast. We should pray, we should fast, we should engage in spiritual exercise because the spirit always is willing to humble before God. But the flesh is weak, the flesh is weak, the flesh is weak. Apostle Paul said, I put my body under the subjection of the spirit. You know how to put your body under the subjection of the spirit. It's when you pray and fast, when you pray and fast, praise the Lord. Prayer and fasting will give us direction. Prayer and fasting will give us direction. Anytime you are seeking direction from God, just go pray and fast. If you go to the book of Ezra, the book of Ezra chapter 8, you read verse 21 to 20, 23. You see how Ezra led the people in fasting and prayer to seek direction from God. Let's read Ezra chapter 8, 21 to 23. 
The Bible said, Then I proclaim a fast there at the river of Ahava, that we might afflict ourselves before our God to seek of Him a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. Verse 22 For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way, because we had spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek Him. But his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. Verse 23. So we fasted and besought our God for this, and he was entreated of us. So Ezra led the people of Israel to saw the face of God in a place of prayer and fasting for direction, not only for himself, for everyone, even for the children. And as they did that, the Bible said God answered them. They refused to seek the human effort because they believe that God is able to answer them if they humble themselves to seek His face in a place of prayer and fasting. Children of God, we are in 2023. I would not like you to continue in this year without seeking the face of God in a place of prayer and fasting so that God can be able to enable you to stand in the day of evil, so that God can be able to enable you to stand temptations, so that God can be able to give you direction. Don't forget, Jesus said it is a must that we must pray and fast. We ought to pray. We ought to fast. Praise Master Jesus. And if you go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible says, Pray without season. We have no season of prayer. It has to be something that is done constantly. Constantly lift up your holy hands everywhere to seek the face of God. Don't take this year 2023 for granted. Don't take it for granted. Esther refused to depend on human effort and they saw the face of God. And the Bible said, God answered them. So God can answer you when you humble yourself to seek his face in a place of prayer and fasting. Now, children of God, if you go to the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 12, Romans chapter 12, verse 12, the Bible says, Rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, continue instant in prayer. If you pay attention to the last verse of it, it says, Continue. It's a present continuous tense. It's a something that we must be doing every day of our lives. We continue instant in prayer. My brethren, I want to beg you in the mighty name of Jesus, let's try, let's try to learn how to exercise our spirit in a place of prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting is one of the tools, is one of the armor of God for us to be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. It's a, it's a tool for us to be able to stand against the evil day. Praise Master Jesus. And as you seek the face of God in a place of prayer and fasting, your heaven will open in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Please, I beg of you, don't just move in this year 2023 as a blind person. You have to sort the face of God so that God can give you direction, so that God can appear in your situation, so that you can become an overcomer in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord shine His light upon you in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Children of God, the Spirit is always willing. The Spirit is always willing, but the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. You have to do what you have to do to put your flesh under the subjection of your spirit. You put your flesh under the subjection of your spirit. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, glory be to your holy name. You are worthy to be praised, worthy to be adored. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega, you are the beginning, you are the end, no one like you. Heavenly Father, we praise your name. Lord, we are in this season of prayer, we are in this season of fasting. Lord, let there be open heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Answer us speedily by the powerful Ghost. Lord, in every of our desire this year, Holy Spirit, turn our desire to testimony in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' most powerful name, we pray. Children of God, I would like to lead us in two prayer points. Praise the Lord. I want you to repeat us for me. Father, please redirect myself and restore me 
in the name of Jesus. Father, redirect my step and restore me in the name of Jesus. Father, redirect my step and restore me in the name of Jesus. Father, redirect my step and restore me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, the second prayer. Father, restore me by mercy. In every area, I have taken a wrong decision or step. Father, restore me by mercy. In every area, I have taken a wrong decision or steps. Father, restore me by mercy. In every area, I have taken a wrong decision or steps. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore you. May the Lord direct yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, children of the Most High God. Go and possess your possession. Be blessed and remain blessed. Bye for now.